Hello, today in this video we're going to be talking about the MC4 connectors. What are the MC4 connectors? These are uh, the connectors that are fitted on the solar panel. Eh? So you can connect one panel to another, uh, etc. up to your system. Uh, so I will show you how we're going to uh, fit them on the cables. Uh, as you can see mine had, bet, uh, had bet better days uh, and I've got to change them. So you must be wondering, but how this broke uh, or how this got damaged? Well, it's very simple. We had a big, uh, big storm and the panels just flew away and it just basically ripped everything. So now I just had to buy new ones and I will have to change them. Okay. Uh, but that video will be useful as well in case you have the older style uh, solar panel which don't have that uh, that kind of fittings so in that case you can cut it and fit the new ones uh, if you want to upgrade it uh, and as well if you've got uh, small solar panels which usually don't come with cables or uh, this type of attachment uh, so that in, in, in that way you'll be uh, you'll be able to I can't find my words you'll be able to uh, upgrade as well and have a nice and easy connections okay so what are we gonna be doing now we gotta go home I will show you how the connectors uh, come together uh, uh, what's the male the female etc and uh, what we'll do once you got it uh, clear in order to fit it then we'll come back here uh, we'll dismantle it we'll fit the new one and off we go we now have uh, the connectors MC4 here um, once you will receive them at home or, or when you will buy them uh, they will usually be delivered like that uh, here you got the female and here you got the male and you will have this uh, on the side now be very careful before to mount it uh, because very often we tend to think if this one goes inside this one is the male and this one is the female well no that's the other way around uh, this one is the male and this one is the female um, here I've uh, dismantled it and I put them side by side uh, as you can see this one uh, uh, is longer and um, and a bit uh, bigger uh, than this one so this one is the male uh, so just don't um, don't get confused on this why because I'm not sure if you can see it on the video but here you got some um, little marks and one, once you fit it inside and you clip it you won't be able to take it out uh, so just make sure you uh, you fit it the, the correct way around okay so here I've completely dismantled it so you can see how it's fitted so here we have the cap here we've got something that will help the, the joint put it inside now here come the joint uh, for waterproofing okay once it's inside normally it doesn't fall off oh, it did <laughs> but usually it holds by itself okay um, so what I usually do when I mount it I, uh, I fit all this first I place it uh, I place the cable inside and then I, I fit this okay um, and once it's done then obviously very easy uh, you fit the whole thing together and you're done okay so uh, let's go back on the uh, towards the panels and uh, let's uh, dismantle it and fit those ones okay now what tools we need we will need a knife uh, so something that cut well uh, we will need uh, a plier to cut and one to uh, to press okay uh, now if you got the correct tools to uh, remove the plastic on the cable and the other one to uh, press uh, the the connection that's very good but if you don't have it no worries with this uh, we'll be able to do it okay okay as you can see those cables this one everything has been ripped off and this one is slightly burned so I'm gonna change both this one will be the positive and this one is the negative okay for the positive I'm gonna fit this one now so it's pretty easy because this one is uh, it's been removed uh, the so we put the cap first I put this inside 
then the rubber so we hold okay now I've got it remember the positive is the long one okay so I take this away at the moment and I place this here okay and now what we're gonna do we're gonna use the plier and we're gonna fold it so you might need to see I fold one first and then the other one okay it's pretty good but I will give it another go on the side and then on top again okay it's pretty nice so now what we what we got left to do is to place the auto part which goes here okay and then the rubber inside and we close it as you can see it gets fitted in in a minute or two huh? so we tighten it well that's it it's fitted now I'm gonna grab the other one which is here okay so this one uh, I will cut it so there's no point opening it huh? okay now with the killer knife that I've got that cut very well you cut about a centimeter so we go all around I'm usually very careful with that knife because it's a bit sharper than I thought it would be so sometimes you help yourself huh? you twist it a bit and when it's nearly gone you give it one last go and then you twist it and you peel it away and it should come off see that's it done so same thing huh? we're gonna grab the cap we put it in first perfect now the bit so as you can see this one is the small one huh? because it's the negative and something same operation you fold one first and the other one If your plier is a bit big or a bit large, you can use a, a, a thinner one if you want, as you wish. Okay, pretty good. Okay, now the last part, and we connect. As you can see, it's uh, it's pretty pretty easy to fit them. Here we go. Okay. Now we connect the two, and we're done. There we go. Okay. Uh, so that's it, that's how we do it. On the next video, I will show you how a system, uh, solar system works and all different thing, uh, things, so stay tuned, please. Cheers, see you.